Hi! In my previous video, we saw about the prefixes. Do you want to learn more about the suffixes? Don't worry, I got you covered. This is Surya Johnson, your medical coding guide. Let's dive in. Hi, in today's video, we'll see about the suffixes used in medical terminologies. The first one, suffix pertaining to diagnosis, that is the condition or the diagnosis of the patient, what are the suffixes used? In that we'll see the first one, seal, C-E-L-E, -E, seal. It means hernia, protrusion, a tumor like something is protruding out, like herniating or protruding out from its position. For example, we'll see gastrocele. Gastrocele means protrusion or hernia of the stomach. The next one, emia, E-M-I-A, emia means blood. For example, we'll see hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia is a low amount of sugar in the blood. The next one, it is ectasis or ectasia, ectasis or ectasia. It means dilatation or dilation or expansion. For example, angiectasis, it is an abnormal dilatation of a blood vessel. The next suffix pertaining to diagnosis is iasis. Iasis means it is a condition, formation of or presence of. Example, nephrolithiasis. Nephrolithiasis means the presence of stone in the kidneys. Next, in suffix pertaining to diagnosis, we'll see itis. Itis means inflammation. For example, encephalitis. Encephalitis is the inflammation of the brain. Next one is malaysia. Malaysia, it means softening, soft, that one. For example, chondromalacia. Chondromalacia means softening of the cartilage. The next one is megaly. Megaly means enlargement. Example, hepatosplena megaly. It means the enlargement of the liver and spleen. Now we sometimes you might wonder like, what is hepatosplino? Those are all these stem or root words which we will discuss in our future video. So when after learning the root words or the stem words, you already learned the prefixes. Now you are learning the suffixes. Once you have completed the root words, you can easily understand what that medical terminology means. The next suffix pertaining to diagnosis is sclerosis. Sclerosis means hardening, hard. Example. Arteriosclerosis. Arteriosclerosis is hardening of the arteries. The next one, oma. Oma means tumor. Example, a lipoma is a fatty tumor. The next one is osis. Osis means condition or disease. Example, dermatophytosis. It is a disease of fungus of the skin. The next one is pathy. Pathy means it's also disease. Example, neuropathy. Neuropathy is a disease of the nerves. The next one is tosis. Tosis means prolapse or downward displacement. Example, a blepharoptosis. It means the downward displacement of the eyelid. The eyelid got displaced down. The next one, rexus. Rexus means a rupture. Example, cardiorexus. Cardiorexus means there's a rupture in the heart. Any blood vessel got ruptured. The next one pertaining to diagnosis is trophy. Trophy means growth or nourishment. Example, the medical term for excessive growth is hypertrophy. The next one is phobia. You already know that, right? Phobia means fear. For example, hydrophobia. It is a fear of 
water. So now we saw about the suffixes pertaining to diagnosis. So if we can easily identify the suffix word, then you will identify what is the condition of the patient, what is the problem of the patient. So the second one is suffixes pertaining to operative procedures. That is what and all is performed or the procedures performed on a patient body will have these the following kind of suffixes. So you can easily understand what is the procedure performed. It is like excision or just inspection is done, just an examination is done or uh, a surgical artificial opening is made like that. You can easily understand. In suffixes pertaining to operative procedures, the first one is ectomy. Ectomy means removal or excision. For example, cholecystectomy. Cholecystectomy, it is a surgical removal of the gallbladder. The next one, scopy. Scopy, it is inspection or just examination. You just examine the patient not a normal examination, using some instrument, that kind of procedural examination. Example, a bronchoscopy is an inspection of the bronchi. The next one is stomy. Stomy means surgical creation of an artificial opening stomy. Example, a colostomy is an artificial opening into the colon. The next one is tommy. See, you can see, right, stormy, tommy, just one word changes, but it totally, uh, you know, differentiates the procedure. So when we're reading the medical terminologies, we should uh, keenly look into all these words so you can identify what is the exact procedure performed on the patient's body or that organ. Tommy means incision or cutting into. Example, a laparotomy is an incision in the abdominal wall. The next one is desis. Desis means binding, fixation. Binding or fixation. Example, arthrodesis. It's a medical term for surgical binding or fixation of the joint. The next one is pexy. Pexy means suspension or fixation. It is also fixing. Example, an archaeopexy is a suspension or fixation of an undescended testis. The next one in the operative procedure suffix is plasti. Plasti means plastic repair. For example, tympanoplasty is the term for plastic repair of the eardrum. The next one is centesis. Centesis means puncture. For example, arthrocentesis means puncture of a joint for the removal of fluid. The next one is Rafi. Rafi means suture repair. Example, a neuro Rafi is a medical term for suture repair of the nerve. Now we will move on to the third one, suffixes pertaining to symptoms, the normal symptoms and all right regarding that. The first one is algia. Algia means pain. Example, dentalgia. Dentalgia is a medical term for pain in the tooth. Dental means tooth. The next one is genic, producing or originating. Example, pyogenic is the term for producing pus. The next one is lysis. Lysis means destruction or breakdown. For example, Hemolysis, it means the destruction of red blood cells. The next one is regia. Regia means excessive flow or discharge. Example, uh, hemorrhage is a term meaning discharge of the blood. The next one is rhea. Rhea means excessive flow or discharge, the same one. Example, rhinorrhea, it is a medical term for excessive flow or discharge from the nose. The next one is penia. Penia means decrease or deficiency. Example, erythropenia means decrease of red blood cells in the body. The next one, spasm. 
spasm means involuntary contraction example myospasm it means an involuntary contraction of the muscle the next one suffix pertaining to symptoms are i c ik ak al r i c or a c a l a r these all mean the same thing it is pertaining to so we'll see each one examples for example for r cardiovascular it means pertaining to the heart and vessels the next one intercostal it means pertaining to between the ribs the next one is otoscopic it means pertaining to an examination of the ear then the example for ac cardiac it means pertaining to the heart so we now saw about the suffixes we have already seen my previous video about the prefixes if you have not seen it i'll put the link in the below description so you can watch that prefixes as well and in my future video i'll discuss in detail about the stem or the root word once you have learned all these prefixes suffixes and stem or root words whenever you look into a medical terminology word and it will be very much helpful to derive the correct code shall we do a self assessment here i'll give you few questions let's see what is the word megaly in cardiomegaly means correct it's enlargement of the heart the second one what is the suffix centesis in arthrocentesis mean you're right next one what is the suffix trophy in the word hypertrophy means you're right what is the suffix algia in the word dors algia mean absolutely right what is the suffix oma in the word hemangioma means wow wonderful you all really did a great job again like you did it in the prefix section hi now we learned about suffixes right it's great to know the medical terminologies and being a medical coder it will definitely help you in the long run if you found this video to be useful please hit the like button and share with your friends if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe and hit the notification icon so you'll not miss any of my future videos this is surya johnson your medical coding guide